Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the Explosive One. Jonas, you're the man on the stage. Yeah, we are, dude. And we're playing that Madden 21. Yeah, dude, we're doing the Oilers, dude, week one. Houston. Yeah, boy. Scrooston, Texas. Um, I didn't do a deconstruction video on these guys. Why not? Because what I did was, I took over a team, I think it was the Colts, Mm. And what I did is I did a fantasy draft, but mm. I literally just simulated the entire draft. Mm. And then I uh, and then I went through the first season and then did an off season where I draft. I drafted a new quarterback, a new running back, a new wide receiver. Um, and uh, and that's where we're at. So it's like it's completely random the people that are on the team. So we ended up with some decent players. We got a good tight end. No, that's what's up. Yeah, dude. So it was just completely random, and then I uh, drafted. I wanted to draft rookies and stuff, so we would have like a fresh to <laughs> Quentin Groves and somebody Phillips and whatever, dude. Somebody Phillips. I like that. That's a good American name right there. So, dude, I wish I should have a kid name him somebody. I am somebody. <laughs> Honestly, Joe, I've always been a fan of like exotic names, not like crazy exotic names, but like there was a Seinfeld meme with seven, and then like I've always thought eleven would be a good name, but somebody yeah. is a pretty good name. There was oh dude, there was this one time. I have a good I have a good unique name story. So I went to a uh gentleman's club when I lived in Minnesota mm -hmm. with uh, two guys that I worked with and uh this 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 uh the strip was gentlemen's a, club. <laughs> this this gentlemen's club was a two story gentlemen's club. No, okay. Fair and the enough. pole went from the stage all the way through the ceiling to the top. That's just unnecessary. so like at different times, all of a sudden a dancer would just come sliding through the ceiling to the stage. And, uh, and it was it was interesting. No, because how am I going to maintain an erection when you're sliding down like there's a four-alarm fire? It was interesting. It, yeah. was, it, was, it was weird. It's novelty. Uh, but they did do a bachelor dance, and the girl came from the top and landed on the dude. Like, and I was like, that would not be comfortable. <laughs> no, that's not fun. No, it's not. But uh, anyways, so there was a girl that was hanging out with us, me and... Uh, and she... Wow, okay. I like this. And she... Uh, Where are we going with this? Uh -huh. And she... Uh, swore that she knew the kid I was with. And I knew the kid I was with and knew for a thousand percent that she did not know him because we, he was a very much a mama's boy and very much like hadn't even really went out and drank until he had just turned 21. We had took him out for his 21st birthday. He got too drunk. Like that's a whole nother story. But like, <laughs> so I knew for a fact he did not know an exotic dancer. I knew it just by very much not the most hip dude in the world <laughs> and uh so i was like i was Unless. like i'll tell you what i was like i'll tell you what i will bet you money that you do that he does not know you and uh and she lost she didn't pay you though oh no i made her pay me and she was pissed i was like i was like you better go get me that money and she was like but I, and he's like she's like he's lying and i'm like no, go get me that money. And she, I made her walk with me and go get me the cash how and much, give me the money. How Five much bucks. was? It? Five bucks. But oh, uh, but she was yeah. like, but she, she was so pissed. She was like, you don't know a girl named Tuesday? How could you not remember Tuesday? And I'm like, Tuesday. I was like, I was like, oh. I That's like, a good name, by the way. Was that all to just get to the name Tuesday? Because I really yeah. like it. Yeah, Tuesday's <laughs> gone in the wind. Yeah, dude. It was just like, yeah. I, like, I like names of the week for names. Saturday, I knew a guy named Sunday. Saturday's a you good name. You knew a guy? Oh, there we go. We're yeah. doing it. Yeah, he was an uh, African dude. Very, very religious. His name was Sunday. It was weird. Was that the guy you used to talk ish with when he worked? In the no. <laughs> Oh, miss him too. <laughs> <laughs> He's just... So you just walk up to him, talk ish about your nationality. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, that's, that's a whole different story. I don't know if I want to get into the fact that uh, black Americans and uh, Africans who come over Straight here. From the, Af actual African. Actual African Americans. <laughs> yes, because I'm just a black American. But yeah, actually, you know, they, they don't get along. <laughs> Not generally. 
<laughs> Not generally. Hey, nobody respects Americans, dude. Yep. Nobody respects them. I mean, it's all right. A lot of Americans don't respect anybody else. So I think it's only absolutely fair. true. I'm not yep. saying we deserve it. I'm just saying is that it's a thing. So don't go yeah, anywhere. Ex- dude. Don't go anywhere expecting to be respected. Uh, they'll love you for your accent in other countries, though. But oh, the American accent, man. Eh? I've never been to a gentleman's club where like. I got on that level of talking to one of the dancers, though. Oh, I do that almost every time I go. No, nah, because, you know, I go, and then I'm like, I know what you want, lady. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I, and I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm also not that approachable, I guess. You were, I don't know. Uh, mm, I, I mean, it's happened to you a bunch of times <laughs> without your, right? Dude, you, you've seen it. I'm, it's always the girl I don't want to come sit with me that goes in there. Remember that? I would love it if the girl that I like the, the quirky oddball. <laughs> Give me quirky oddball. oddball. I just like it's like it's like if oh I just threw a good old interception. Good job. Like, but if I'm like oh there's there's ten girls in the club and I'm like these five are hot. It's always the one that I don't think's attractive that wants to come and sit on my lap. I, I mean, I get it. I'm just saying is that you you approach a, a a green light different than you do a red light. I don't I don't feel like people approach me with the same tactic they would use to approach you. That's that's very true. That that's as fair as I can put it. Yeah. I <laughs> if don't... some girl came up and and approached me the same way she would approach you, then she would be more likely to remove money from my wallet. Yeah. But. Well, and the funny part is like I don't. I'm always like, I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna get dance, right? Like, and then they'll still hang out and talk with you. <laughs> are you, are you just a safe place? I They're like, so. he doesn't look like a rapist. I guess, dude. Like, I, dude, I swear. Like, we used to, um, there used to be a, uh, a gentleman's club in Ohio that me and a, one of my buddies used to go to, like, quite often. And the reason we would go there is because um, we used to go out and drink. Well, yeah. <laughs> they have they they used to go out and no drink. no we used to go out and drink at like the bar. Yeah, well, I get it. they had um, this strip club in particular, Carrie Gentlemen's Le- Club, carried Labatt Blue. The Labatt Blue was cheaper than any bar in town, and there was only a five dollar cover to go to the strip club. No, so it was just so it was like Gentlemen's Club. So it was uh so yeah we would go pay five bucks and instead of watching some crap band we get to watch naked girls dance and we would drink the, the, the exotic dancers. I said naked girls. How is yeah, that how is that derogatory? There's kids. And, and uh and uh we would drink beer cheaper than we would drink it at the bar. We were so like but it but like so what ended up happening is like some of the waitresses that work there and some of the girls that work there would just come and hang out with us. <laughs> just sit with us and BS with us. They're like, oh, you guys aren't creepy and weird. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, not to their knowledge, but you seem less creepy and weird. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, like like I said, man, there's, there's definitely archetypes. If you were like a bunch of like super fit college guys wearing like freaking your shirts open and expensive watches, they're going to be like, oh, I know what these guys are about. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. If, you're, if you're like a band of dudes who are all wearing pink booty shorts, they're going to be like, oh, I know what these guys are about. You come in with like matching shirts to Steve's last dance and shit <laughs> stuff. Yeah. If you come in like you guys with a cold chamber shirt on and a tool shirt on <laughs> and your Jinko jeans <laughs> scraping the pavement, they're going to be like, all right, <laughs> I right. get it. Like, all right, cool. We'll hang out with these dudes. It's cool. <laughs> 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 so they they definitely approach me. I mean, but you know, it's it's a learn it's learned behavior though. You know, you got it, it's targeted uh, advertising. It really is. It dude. really is, dude. And you know what's really fun is like sometimes like you go to the uh, gentlemen's club, yeah. just hang out and talk to the chicks, man. It's fun. It's I like I love talking to people. Yes. So it's like hearing like they're different. I'm always like the guy who like I'm like interviewing him basically. I'm like, oh, what do you think about what got you into this? <laughs> what got you into this college? Yeah, I'm just trying to dance my way through college. Yeah, dude, good. You're a good dancer. You got the moves, girl. Yeah, you should be on. Uh, you should be in a Puff Daddy video. <gasps> Did you hear that Carol Baskins is gonna be on <laughs> Dancing with the Stars? Oh my God! Did dude. you hear it, dude? I, I did read that. I How did she kill her husband and get on Dancing with the Stars? Yeah, well, Joe Exotic wants to get. Uh, Pardon. I did, did see that too. It may happen too. <laughs> it might. Dude, I, you never know. You know what? If it was any other time, I would say not a chance. Hey, it's an election year. <laughs> <laughs> Make it, people love Joe Exotic. <laughs> 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 
You never know, dude. You it would be surprised to see Jizzling Maxwell at the freaking IHOP next week. Oh, you know what I heard? I heard or saw what? is a. Uh, is you know? Did you see that they like they've a, they've uh, rescued a bunch of like uh, kids who were like being I'm sorry, what? They they've rescued a bunch of kids around the country. They found like thirty some in Georgia that were like missing that were you know being like held against their will and stuff. And they were like they found the thirty kidnapped children is what you're telling. Me. Yes. And somebody was like, "It's pretty. It's pretty convenient that they arrest that Jizzling Maxwell, and then all of a sudden they're they're finding kidnapped children all over the country." Uh, I mean, yeah, it could it it could be coincidence. I get it. it. I get it. It could be coincidence. It could not. Yeah, but I was like, and if that's what she's doing to keep her keep herself out of jail, man, I get. I mean, you gotta try. You try to make amends any way you can, dude. Nah, man. I don't know about all that. I mean, you try to make amends. I ain't saying it's going to work. I don't know about all that. Oh, there you go. That's why we drafted that boy. Did you see uh, Nick Cage is actually going to be doing the uh, the Joe Exotic series. He's going to be Joe Exotic in a reimagining of the life of Joe Exotic. Who? Nicholas Cage. Oh, oh, wow. He, oh, wow. Yeah, he's going to be playing Joe Exotic. And I think it's it's a series, but I think it's like a uh, a mini series. I, I just, like, I hate how they exploit everyone. I don't know, dude. I'm kind of liking the idea. Me, myself, I like the idea of seeing Nicholas Cage as Joe Exotic. If there were anybody else, I'd be like, eh. Yeah, dude, eh. I want to see Jake Gyllenhaal. No, you don't. Matt Damon. Nobody, nobody <laughs> wants to see either one of those guys. I know. I'm joking. <laughs> no. Nick Cage would be the perfect one. And I used honest. to be a big Matt Damon fan, too, to be honest. Did you? Were you I a fanboy? Did. did you have a Born Identity poster? Dude, I was a born boy, dude. I was born a boy and a born boy. B- born boy, born boy, born. I was a born boy. I did. I loved Jason Bourne. I loved the first, like, three movies. I was hooked. He's a, he's a guy that does stuff, man. I, I've never even seen Goodwill Hunting, but I used to love. And like when him and Affleck had that thing going. Oh, that relationship? Like, yeah. What? No, I don't know about all that. <laughs> I don't know. Geely. Uh, no. When they had a relationship? They did a, bunch of, they did a bunch of movies together. Oh, yeah, dude. They were happy. <laughs> they were happy. <laughs> yeah, they were happy that they Fair got enough. to. Um, Fair enough. They Fair were very happy with what happened in their lives. Fair enough. You ever been? You ever, never mind. I was gonna go back to the gentleman's club. I really was. Go it, dude. We ain't got no. we ain't much time left. I mean, we, might as well, we might as well come full circle. You, you ever know? have anything weird happen in the gentleman's club? Woo! Now yeah. that I can talk about it on the pod, it's a podcast question, friend. All right. So look, dude. I was an age old enough to be at the gentleman's club. It was my birthday, and they got me up on stage, but the zipper on my pants had broken. Yeah. And I had it like I just had like a rubber band around the belt loop and through the zipper and it just kinda like kept it there. Yeah. And, and that's little, how you go out to the strip club. No, listen. Little little did I know that my friends were going to get me up on stage. So then the exotic dancers began to unzip my pants and ha 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 it's all fun and games. And then I had this freaking rubber band around my freaking belt loop. Yeah. And they were like, oh, we can't get his pants off. <laughs> they just like tugging at this rubber oh, band. Wow. And I felt like such a jackass. I can feel that. Yeah. That, was, <laughs> that was my I have watched. I have watched one of my friends spend way too much money and, yeah. and just let him do his thing, man. He thought the girl's going to be his girl, dude. She oh, he was trying to get her. I guess, dude. He Yo. Was, I saw him go to the ATM three, four times. Yo. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, yeah, like, dude, it's cool. And I'm like, I'm in love. You're, you're a grown A man, dude. You do it. You do you. How much did he spend? Would you I don't know. I no, didn't give an estimate. I have. Have you ever closed the strip club and hung out with the dancers? The gentleman's club and no. I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Type, the type of life I used to live, I guess. <laughs> how, much, how much did your, did your man spend? I don't know. I didn't ask him. He probably wouldn't have told me the truth if I would ask no. him anyways. I have, at a gentleman's club, I have gone and I have spent, uh, I've spent larger sums of money. 
I don't want to say like how much because that might seem weird, but it was all in like buying other people's stuff. And oh, getting that, other people. I got hit. Oh, I got you. So it's like, yeah, it's not that you went and you, and you spent five hundred bucks on yourself. <laughs> I had, didn't spend five hundred dollars. All right, I don't want to get that clear right now. All right, <laughs> that like, that's a bit much. All right, I ain't got like, it like let that. Let me speak to yeah. this right now. I'm just saying is that I spent larger sums of money, but it's in like my boy is is down and he's visiting me. Let me get him a bunch of lap dance. In fact, let me just tell the, these girls it's his birthday and then just hand him a roll and then just hand him a, a roll of 50, 60 ones and let him go like to town. Have fun, friend. Yep. Just hook it up. That's the kind of that's the kind of friend I am. I would do that for you. Awesome. Special occasions. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> All right, man. For your birthday. Let's do it. <laughs> My next, the next one uh, will be in pandemic. Nah, you don't know that. Oh God. The uh, cure is coming in October, dude. Remember? What? We got the cure in October. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's How gonna be you? gone after. Uh, it's gonna How be gone after. How could you forget? Dude? Just magically disappear. Oh, that was all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like. And subscribe if you've already done that. This dude, he does Twitch stuff. Magically disappear onto Twitch and TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. All right, for Jonas. Catch you on the next one. We uh, are.